And what achievements? I actually like grinded a couple this morning. I, I went for a load, but I managed to get Hippo and Lynx. So those two are finally gone. But I still need all of these, so... I don't know. Handful of tier 1s. I feel like I may go for like... I think Hawk... Hawk might be the next easiest to get, because I feel like that's just a good unit. Anteater is also very good in certain builds. Like, honestly, anything spam related, but it's really annoying to level up because it doesn't get that much better on level ups. And holy four ads. Maybe I need to send the the Discord thing way later. I ran the ads before people got here, but then they still get caught in it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Viper, thank you for the six months. It's about to be a good stream, I can feel it. I'm hoping so. I want these achievements. We need to grind it out before they add, like, a load of new ones. <laughs> Aardvark Bear? I have tried Aardvark Bear so many times, and I can't get it to work well. But maybe. Oh, how come no Hydrate? Excellent point. Hold on. Uh, channel points. Hold on. I had, like, everything disabled from last time. Alright. There you go. That is, like, everything back. <laughs> it should be, anyway. Alright, uh, oh, I need to decide, alright, you know what, I may just say, does anyone have a game suggestion to play at the end of the stream? Because I was going to do Fall Guys, but I don't have time to update it. So I'm thinking either Sa or maybe, like, another single-player roguelike type thing. Like, Just King, maybe? Had fun with that last time. <laughs> it's easier to get Sloth than Aardvark. Hard disagree. Hold on, preemptive pirate hats. Excellent choice. All right, there you go. Man. When are the viewer lobbies? Two hours. Yes, two hours. And yeah, okay, we're gonna do Saar later then. Let me update the docket. More sap, please. I'm not doing more sap after sap. We will do three hours of sap though. And I'm just gonna call it Saar. All right, how's that looking? That's not how you spell docket. Oh no. I am typoing a lot. Okay, that works. Alright, I'm gonna jump into a game then. So I'm still using my, like... I say still using. I haven't mean, used it that much, but... I'm using a pack I made for achievement hunting. I don't actually know if it's any good, but... I don't know. Had some success with it this morning. I am taking these. I like that. I don't like where the buff went. Alright, let's be the delicious noobs. Quality name. You got the same ad three times spaced out. That doesn't sound like a good thing for, like, anyone. Like, I don't think I'm more likely to buy something from an ad if I say it three times in a row. Oh, you want a prediction? Hold on, I can do a prediction. I still need the Kiwi. I had two games today where I got a really early Kiwi and Duckling. Different runs. And they were so strong, and then they get, like, stomped by the same team twice right at the end. Hate it. Okay. I don't know, I'm probably going to take the otter and, like, leave the bluebird. It's fine with me. And thank you for whoever did the prediction. I'm assuming that's M. Or May, maybe? Hello, May. <laughs> Alright, what's my level 3? More scaling, I'm all in. Alright, I feel like bat's pretty good as well, honestly. Like, if you get a level 3 bat, that can be just incredible in the late game. The weakness itself doesn't matter too much, but replacing enemy equipment is just invaluable. Very nice. So I either take that or I take a spider. Either way, I probably buff the... Nah, let's buff a bat. I will do this. I will freeze the other meat bone. And we have another level up. Sure. Alright, I'm pretty happy with this team, honestly. Like, I can... At any point, I could get rid of the otter or the bluebird, maybe. You got any achievements yet? I did off-stream. But no, not today, because this is the first run. <laughs> he got instantly distracted. I feel that. Alright, I'm going to leave that. We can buy that next turn. Uh... Hmm. I don't really like any of this, but I may do that for the time being. That's a pretty good hit. I'm okay with that. He wants churros, I'm making some. I don't think I've ever had a churro. I have no idea what they're like. And <laughs> Draco, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. Thank you. Anteater, something I need. And something that would kind of work with that if we ever get that level up going. 
Uh, I think I'm going to do this. I want to keep the anteater, so I'm fine like scaling that a bit. And we're probably keeping the bat. At the very least, we're keeping it for a while. Yeah, maybe do this. I'm not sure. Excellent hits. Churros are amazing. I, I just don't even know what they taste like. I can't, I'm like trying to picture it. I think it's like a waffle stick. <laughs> I can't completely remember. Alright, am I buying stats? I don't like... The food I have just seems really weird. Like, I feel like B isn't amazing on this. I know it did like win us that round, but... I don't know. If I roll, what am I looking for past another bat? Blobfish. Clownfish is okay. That's kind of it. I may just buy some stats. Kind of nice hits. Another <laughs> bat. Alright, we save that for next turn. There are a lot of cool tier 5s here. Like, if we get a monkey, a crocodile, poodle, those are all nice. Turkey would also be amazing. I don't even have Vulture in this pack. Maybe I should do that if I'm looking for the anti eater achievement. I feel like it doesn't help a lot with a lot of the other things I'm going for, but... That is pretty good. <laughs> Not a bat, alright. Let's go. I'm keeping the bats. The bat stays. I am wondering what I should be, like, prioritizing trying to scale. Because right now, I feel like this is huge, so it's probably going to be a while before I can think about getting rid of that. If I do it all. Ah, oh, shame. It's like a breadstick with sugar. That doesn't sound as amazing to me. Zebra, that's fine. I can maybe get rid of the bluebird. Is that where I get rid of the giraffe? But I don't... I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to get rid of the bluebird. Because the stats from there are like the same as the stats from the giraffe. But I can target where the giraffe one goes. So that's more useful for me. <laughs> I don't like that. I was really hoping they'd hit the anteater or the bat. Those are my long-term units, I think. Can't really use this yet. And I don't really want anything else. I could combine and buy something, but I think we just roll. Yeah, let's roll. Nope, nope. Nope. Okay, like nothing I liked there. That is unfortunate. I feel like this run maybe is it's not going to be the one. We may make it to six wins, but I don't think it's gonna be a good run. No, oh, those aren't those aren't good trades. Pancake stick, but crispy. That sounds nicer, at least. Uh, I'm doing this, and I can't afford something, so i probably take a stalk for a tier 3. Yeah, an average tier 3 is probably better than two sheep, right? Two rams. <laughs> I actually don't know if it is, but... Yeah, no, I'll take this. And it can go at the back. I'd like for that to not get sniped by a crocodile, but I don't know. I don't know, I don't want this to get sniped by a crocodile either, 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 so. Have I had a level 3 scorpion before? I have, a very long time ago. I may or may not have done it again since, but... Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. We're dead. Three trophies. But yeah, I remember... When I got my level 3 scorpion, it was like a 50-52. I posted the screenshot to Reddit, but I never... I don't know if I was recording at the time. I can't remember anymore. Anyway, let's go. And you know what? We go for the Kiwi. That is still something that I need. I'll take it because an early buff on that is fine. Uh, let's take... Let's take a fish. You can get good stats from a fish. <laughs> it's not great right now, but... Fine by me. Prediction. Do I need to pay it out? Alright, it's... There's a Doubt a game then. Prediction. Start again. All right, there's the next one. Jinx the crocodile. I didn't. I didn't look. I can't remember. All right, we take this. Uh, we definitely buy this first, but we're taking both, and we need to hope that we can find another fish or otter next turn. That's really the top thing I'm looking for. Your Wi-Fi is bad. It's okay. I can handle the predictions then. It's no worries. What is the Kiwi ability? You sell it, and it gives a strawberry friend plus one, plus two. But, honestly, because I'm I'm just achievement hunting, so the ability means literally nothing, so I have no strawberry synergy in the pack. Like, this is, this is here just as a kiwi. And that is okay, that's all I need. Alright, let's do this. Blobfish, pretty nice. I might, I might sell the bluebird here. 
Sell Bluebird, put Blobfish in front of Hedgehog, and maybe pill it next turn. Seems okay to me. I like a Swan too, but it's it's too weird. We don't have enough room. We'll have one slot free, but I'd rather look for more Hedgehogs or Kiwis or Otters. A lot of things we could be going for here. Let's do that too, maybe. Your apple is squeaking. What? I think that's kind of bad for us. Never mind. We're okay. Hey, more kiwis. Okay. So, I will be pilling this now, I think, and then going for the combo on that next turn. I'd love to... Ah, oh, but I can freeze the blobfish for, like, my tier 4. Hmm. That might be more valuable, and there are a lot of cool tier 4s. I don't know. I actually don't know what would be best here. Because selling the fish is also going to be really rough. I think I just roll a couple of times and try and find decent food. Here's something. Uh, look, I can keep this longer than the fish. The fish, we're not going to get to level two, level three. So there's no point like keeping that longer than I need to. I'll do that next turn because I really want to find a tier four. So I just kind of waste the rest of my money, I think. And honestly, we could do something here. I don't think I do, though. Like, we're not very invested in the hedgehog doing anything yet. So I think we can wait on that. Play Overwatch, I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you mean you're sorry? I like Overwatch. Alright, another blobfish. And a clownfish, too. Right, fish, you're done. Wait, we do this first. Dragonfly is pretty cool, because it will be targeting the kiwi at the very least. And... I could... Yeah, I could, like, try and force this. So I could get rid of the hedgehog, pill blobfish onto dragonfly. I think this is okay. It's a bit rough, but we may eventually be able to get a load of value out of this, even if it's not amazing just yet. That should not be at the back. That is my mistake. That should be in front of something, anything. Nothing has combat abilities, but... Okay, yeah, we were punished. Not good. All right. I would love to find another pill, please, and I will do it this turn. I will freeze this. Oh, my God. Hmm. I think I go for the combo first and then pill it. I doubt I'm gonna find three pills for these. So let's just let's just wait it out. And I may even sell the otter to play <laughs> play this first. And we probably want the garlic, but not before we get the blobfish level up. How do I like the current weekly pack? Not very much, I think, but I can't remember. I haven't played it for a while. But I don't think I had good runs. And I already have the Bloodfish achievements. That's that's not a concern. It's loads of these things. Alright. We're not finding the other otter, so you can get rid of that. I'm going to do this, even though we're not getting like this level up yet. Yeah, it's just that's just huge. Hmm. Alright, maybe I do this then, because then we can get another level up in the fight. These are both great. Uh <laughs> we'll be using both of those. Right, so I probably... There's no way for me to do this. I was thinking, I want this to level up before this one does, but there's no way to do it when we're only leveling things up with the blobfish. So honestly, I think we can leave it like this, and that's just... Just okay. <laughs> XP build? Kind of. XP build with a dragonfly that we're, like, ruining. Because I, I want to build this blobfish, and now I'm not sure if I can. Level up the kiwi? I am leveling up the kiwi! I haven't had an opportunity to. Alright, I shouldn't have done that, by the way. I should have leveled this first. I don't, still don't care for this. Maybe we have to keep this blobfish. <laughs> this is so big. Mm, I'm letting the zebra decide. If it buffs the, buffs the blobfish, then I think we keep it. Good hits. Good hits. Alright, we may still pill the blobfish. I, I could like, level this now, but then it's, we're only buffing two things. Alright, I'd, I'd do this, then I'd have to buy that to make a level 3, but then, yeah. Bit rough. I think this turn, I just do this. Like that, maybe? I think that's okay, and the next turn we can look for some tier 5s. Pill onto Kiwi. I mean, yes and no, because it's just, it's a massive waste of a level 2 blobfish. Like, we need the achievement, but it's not, it's not a great pick. Okay, this I'm loving the look of. 
All right, so we do get plus four, four. So this thing will get massive from this. I'd love to find some lemon for it, too. I'm just wondering if we, like, do anything else there. Like, running double dragonfly could be an idea. Once this is level three, I mean. Like, that's a lot of stats we could be getting. Probably not double level two dragonfly, though. I think we do level this up right now. I think we do it like this. So now it's huge. And then maybe... Maybe sell this clownfish? I doubt I'm going to be trying to get this to level 3. But if I do, it does get a 6-6 buff, so maybe that is an idea. Sure, let's we can maybe go for that. No idea what sort of order I want, though. Front enemy attacks can make it weak. I'm probably leaving this at the front. Like, I'm hoping that they're not going to have, like, a 1-1 one -one at the front, that we <laughs> like, replace no equipment. I think this is fine. I would maybe put like a deer in front of it or something if we had that, but it's kind of all we've got. Lionfish strong, I agree. It's a pretty good unit. And I think we have the team, honestly. Like, I just need to find equipment for everything because we're, we're naked at the moment. Excellent. I love the cow too, but this is still 3-3 a turn. I think we can wait on that. Yeah, let's just go for more equipment. This is also fine. Uh, this is probably going to be scaling faster than the rest. Because this is guaranteed to get... Actually, no. It's only guaranteed to get hit by this one. Sure. We'll, <laughs> we'll put it on this, then. That's probably going to be useful. We can keep rolling a bit. Maybe time to just, like, buy food. There's no steak in this. There is steak in this pack. I could go for that for, like, the dragonflies, maybe. And I think that will be more useful than... Giving them melon or something. Maybe melon on the uh, the lionfish, though. We can level that up. Oh, yeah. Still working. What's your preference? Lionfish or toad? I'm definitely a lionfish guy. It does depend, because I feel like toad can be amazing for, the, for a um, hedgehog team. But lionfish in general, it's just it can just destroy the front line. Which is usually where the scariest stuff is. I'm going to do this. Oh, which do I level up? <laughs> I could run double lionfish, but that doesn't actually help us that much. I could freeze the walrus and go for a pill there, but I don't know if that's it either. I think I go for the scaling first, because we still have HP. You can always find something else later. A stegosaurus is also an amazing pick if I combined those. And then I think we end on this. Yeah, I'm going to leave that. I think next turn we combine the dragonflies, I try and get this doubled up, and I buy a stego. And <laughs> probably put it behind the lionfish. Or maybe behind one of these. The carnfish can probably do with it too. Level 2 lionfish. I definitely want to get it. I don't think it's our first priority right now though. I think more scaling is what takes this run like into space. And yeah, let's just combine now. Don't need to see whatever that was. I can do this and we can get the... <laughs> this level up, but but if I do that, I can't get this stego on the same turn. So, I will do this. No, let's just buy this one and keep the chocolate frozen, right? I, we, I think we're more likely to see chocolate than we are an individual stegosaurus. So maybe I do this. No, no I, I buy the chocolate, keep that frozen, and then I roll for more chocolate and stegos. Excellent. Uh, is it too late to go for this? The stat increase is good if I find another one, but I'm still looking for a chocolate for this first, and we only have, like, four rounds. Hmm. I'm not completely sure, but I will freeze it. I think we could maybe go for that. And tap it sounds very funny. I actually can't remember what its uh, sound is. Oh, easy fight. <laughs> I got a bit worried there, but it looks like we're okay. 10 win prediction or not today, I won't be doing it. Maybe someone else can, but I doubt I'm going to be doing 10 win predictions. And let's just get the level up now. I don't think I can trust getting that to level whatever it is in time. Buy that first. All right. Still two things I want to level up. I know if we level this, then we won't get the uh, dragonfly buffs anymore, but 3-3 three, three a turn compared to an extra like plus 15-15, I think it's worth it. If, if I can get it there, anyway. What's my favorite sound? Like, animal sounds? Uh, 
it looks like we're okay, but barely. I have no idea. I don't know what my favorite sound is. Sadly, you can't use the crow. I'm going to buy this, because there's not really a lot else I want to do at the moment. This needs equipment, but I haven't decided what yet. Oh, there's the chocolate I wanted. Let's start with leveling this, because that is a plus seven, seven? Yeah, so that's going to be like a 30, 31 or something. Yeah, that's pretty big. And then we can go for this one next time. Like, we're, we're not on lethal, so I don't think I needed to do this first, so we still get the permanent scaling from the dragonfly. The longer I can hold on without having to get this to level 2, the better, really. Oh, weakness on the chili, too. Uh, bit of a scary frontline, but I think we're definitely okay. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent, we're getting there. Please, let it live, and we do have the level up. Okay, so we won't have a level 1 to scale anymore, but that's fine. We may even, like, replace this. Like, on the final turn, maybe I can swap it out with something. But it is really big. So maybe I don't do that. <laughs> I think I still do this. I may move it somewhere else, because it's giving 30-30 at the moment. So, like, we're wasting a lot of stats if we put it on that. This should be safe from crocodile spam, unless they have a ton of crocodile spam. It's so like, this is fine, I just need to give it, like, some sort of equipment, and I don't like cheese. I will roll several times to find something better than cheese. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, pizza it is. Okay, uh... Yeah, honestly, I think order's still fine here. I can, like, maybe move one of these two further back. Like this, maybe? So I still have my tanky front line, and then I have a big thing with no equipment, and then my top-heavy stego. Yeah, I think this works. Or at least I'm hoping it does. What about Stego Leopard? I mean, it's a great combo, especially- Well, I I don't know, I always wanted to think that uh, Stego Leopard and White Tiger should be like an easy swap in, but White Tiger doesn't actually fit into that synergy, sadly. But I don't think I can really swap this out for it yet. I don't know, I mean... I guess it, it would be like a 30-30 Leopard that does 15 damage, which is fine, but this thing is already like, you know, an extra 15-15 on top of that. So I think I'm rather, I'd rather leave it at this for now. Maybe by the cupcake. There's no guarantee I'm going to see anything else. Like, it's going to be useful. Put that there. Fine. There was literally nothing. I'm not buying those. Alright, I'm buying a lionfish. Is that where I roll three times for food in case I lose, but... Leveling up the lionfish could be an idea. So I'm okay with that as well. I'm actually going to move this further back too, because that's basically maxed out now. Or rather, I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Put melon on it in all caps. I literally did. And I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, we are. Hey, progress. We got the kiwi. And it's a pretty cool team too. Lots of scaling. Excellent. Can we see stats? I, that's very vague. Here are stats. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just scrolling through, because I don't know what people want to see, so you can, like, go back in your own time if you care. But, yeah, those are my stats. There we go, though. One down, where it's... Yeah, 19 left. We're getting close. Look at that. It looks bad again. <laughs> Alright, what did we get? We got the Kiwi, so I can remove that from the deck. I may put in... I don't think eels in the deck. I know wasp definitely isn't. Spinosaurus I don't think is either. I need to change it a bit. Alright, so what's better than that? This definitely is. That's fine. I think I'm going to move a bit. So we don't have eel. But honestly, I don't really want to swap it in yet because I still need anteater hawk. Those are still the next two I want to go for, I think. And then from this tier, we need Spinosaurus. What can I put in instead of that? I need Tapir as well. Guinea Pig? I could put in Guinea Pig. I don't like it that much, though. <laughs> Kino's killed over 1,800 animals with pills. It's true. I'm a monster. Hmm. I could take away the Octopus, maybe. I feel like I don't buy that as often. Maybe the same, too. I think that's fine. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so what can I swap in for the Guinea Pig? I don't know, I like most of this stuff. I probably... No, I probably use that less. 
All right, guinea pig is in. No guarantees I'm going to take it, but it exists. Let's go. All right, seahorse. Genuinely a good thing to take. I feel like it kind of fills the same role as like a... What's it called? A crocodile. Maybe take a frog. <laughs> it's, it's a possibility. Could be the pouting, pouting piggies too. Plus the uncountable amount of mantis skills. I barely ever take mantis. You have nothing to fear from me in terms of mantis kills. I don't want to take those ducklings. I know we need... Oh, maybe I take it just for the achievement chance. Level chance, but no. Nah. So much better. Do I sell an otter? I think I do. <laughs> do I freeze any of this? That I'm less sure about. I think the answer is no, because there is a level 2 that I should be going for. I think it's no. I don't think I take any of that. I think we just take our level 3. Like, we combine and then get the tier 3. Oh, and pay out for the doubters. There's no pay out for the doubters. That was a believer game. But thank you for the reminder. Alright. Alright, I need to stay on top of that then. There you go. It has been paid out. Clownfish. Excellent. I'm actually, like, a huge fan of seeing another clownfish. Like, it's much better when you have, like, <laughs> ways to level things, but... The stats you can get from this are just huge. Hmm. Double fish. Probably not. I will freeze both of those, though, because they're, like, the only food I'm going to use. I'm going to abandon the frog. I feel like that's not something I can go for yet. I'm going to go for something later in the game, so... Maybe those, but probably hawk and eater. I don't know. I don't know what sort of build I'm going to use those to in, either. Like, these three kind of synergize, but... I don't know. Tap is a bit weird. Alright, uh, let's move those further back. I think that's that's probably as good as it's going to get. Massive doubt payout. Is it true? How's it looking? It is true. <laughs> it's like 74% believers. Wait, 6% doubt? There's no way. Oh, I don't know. Alright, uh, so I probably combined there. I don't know what I like, else I take. Because I don't think I want to invest in the seahorse anymore. I could do this and throw it to the front. Because the clownfish is staying for a while. What other tier 2s would I look for? I probably don't need the pill yet. I could look for another steak and maybe take a swan. I can just do this. That doesn't feel too bad. I know the guinea pigs, but... <laughs> Nah, it's, it's too late. I don't want that. Let's just do that and hope. Honestly, it's still looking pretty good. How tall am I? Not that tall. I'm like 5'7 or something. Been a long time since I've measured. Uh, so we're looking for level ups. I probably want to get rid of the seahorse this turn. Or find something worth putting in. Sheep aren't too bad, but it's not like they synergize at all. That is amazing. That is also very nice. Hmm. I'm wondering whether I freeze more stalks. A stalk could be something I keep for the rest of the game, so maybe I do... Let's do it like this. Okay, and then I can probably leave that there, because if, if this gets sniped by something, I want to make sure the ants still hit something on my team. So I think having this, like, not right at the back is probably a good idea. Choose my own hats. Oh, and choose my own background as well. Oh, they sniped it. Alright. I'll get there. One minute, guys. My hedgehog didn't die. Excellent. <laughs> the only way you can get desert. Not today, though. Actually, you know what? You can have a desert. There you go. It's fine. I can survive the desert, like, at the moment. Now, I want to do this. I'm wondering... I probably do do it this turn. <laughs> I just don't know where I put it. As much as I want to level the Anteater, I don't think it... Yeah. Nah, we can do that. Alright. Just have to hope I'll find... <laughs> find another one in some... Fair amount of time. Alright, this is still looking good to me. This is a winning run. I mean, I'd like for it to be. That being further forward isn't amazing. Never mind, is it... Oh. <gasps> it's excellent! <laughs> Nurse hat god tier. I actually do really like the nurse hat. I like the old one. 
I felt a little weird when they turned it green, and now I'm I'm into it. I like it. <laughs> Goosey Roo, hello. Welcome. Kino willingly burnt our eyes. Yes, because it has been a long time. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, hold on. Wait. Wait, what is that? Wait, that was a robot dog. When did this happen? That was ages ago. <laughs> Eight months. That is huge. And a very delayed thing. <laughs> Thank you, robot dog. Appreciate it. I'm glad you can make it as well. Desert and you didn't pick the cowboy hat. It's because I picked the hat first. I picked the hat and then I went to the the backgrounds and then I thought, you know what, I'll I'll throw them a bone. That is lovely as well. Lionfish with Anteater is also pretty cool. I think we take it this turn at least. And then keep rolling for like <laughs> stalks and anteaters. I don't know. Uh, we probably get rid of the clownfish soon. We can find actual scaling, so I think we abandon that. I don't think we try and get that to level 3. That's not too bad, but... Yeah, let's keep rolling. We can survive this. Your hydrate got denied. Uh, You're right, it did. Hold on, let me correct it. That is the first hydrate. I know, because my bottle was not on my desk. Alright, here comes the hydration. You're not going to hear it, probably. Except for the Destructor Man. He hears everything. Okay. I think I just stack them and then roll once. I can maybe buy a pair, which isn't too bad, but I think I'd rather roll a ton. When I'm going for level ups, I, I do think I just kind of have to hard roll. And I'm not taking a Dragonfly until I have a level 3, I think. Otherwise, it's just kind of a penguin. I'm leave it like that, too. You heard it? I don't believe you. <laughs> no, you probably did. Alright, this is still looking okay. Yeah, that's just fine. No way, Kino, very considerate today. I'm considerate every day. What are you talking about? Clownfish, you're out. We don't need you anymore. We can find other things. I do feel a bit weird about this team because I kind of want to pivot to either like a summon spam build with turkeys. Oh, I don't know. I, I think with what we have, we just need to scale very fast. <laughs> uh, and then they give us this. There's a parrot too. But no, I think we do continue just trying... Oh no, Turkey is still really good. But I can't really take away anything. Lionfish is good, but is it better than a turkey? Oh, and see you later, <laughs> see you later Robot Duck. Robot Dog, I can't talk. Ruckus, hello. Yeah, no, I'm taking the turkey. I'm going to leave this for now, though. If I find another eagle, I may take that. And I think lionfish is a good idea. I do need to run something else at the front, though. And <laughs> I don't know if it can be the hedgehog. Alright, let's put the stalk to the front. Yeah, stalk to the front. I'm going to try and level the lionfish. It may be a mistake. And I think I swap out the hedgehog next turn for an eagle. And run that at the front. I think that is an improvement. I'm a little bit scared about this just exploding. Like, if anyone has a, um... I can't remember what it's called. Crocodile. <laughs> that is a problem for us. Ah. Did I see the penguin nerf? I did. I did, and it's very sad. Alright. Uh... No, I did that fine. Okay. Do this. Great. I say great. Not about this. Just... <laughs> but I like everything else. Now... I don't actually know where I want to put things, because we, after this turn, we probably only have three or four more rounds, at most. Which means if I do this to try and stay alive, or this to try and stay alive, then I don't know if I'll actually be able to level this up. But I may just die if I don't do that, so let's go for this one, I think, because we do have some... We do have some good spam. I think we can get value out of this. And as sad as it is, I don't think I can take the Spinosaurus. I'd love to, but we're kind of already locked in. Everything's high level. And if we have, like, three things that work with summon builds, but no summons, then that's not going to work. <laughs> it's going to be bad. Uh, we are okay. Okay, that was very close. Summon build disgusting. Hey, I rarely go for them. This, I'm, I'm safe, I promise. I need to get equipment, actually. That is nice. And I will buy another pizza instead of rolling three times, I think. 
I'm hoping the stork can carry us, because that is now summoning tier 5s. It could summon a level 3 eagle. And if it does, that could... I don't know. I don't know what that could be like good for. Maybe an octopus? Who knows? There are things it could do. And no docket? Oh, I took away the docket from the... From the title. I don't know, I was planning to do Fall Guys earlier, but then I didn't update the game, so now I can't do that. <gasps> Lows of XP! <laughs> I'd love to, like, sell something so I can buy sell the Zebra as well, but I think we are very locked in. I think I do have to stay with this. We just need equipment now. Good equipment. I will also level this, because we will be keeping it. Alright. I basically just need, like, melons on everything. Maybe, like, steak on the front, because I don't have, um... That's spooky. Sadly, I don't have mushrooms in this pack. Level 3 scorpion incoming. Yeah, that'd be... That's exactly what I need. Melons, please. I'll take a lemon, maybe. No, I need melon and steak. I'll take either. I'll also do this, because I do appreciate that level up. A lemon's still not it. Please. Freeze that. We needed something a lot earlier, though. We could run into another, like, hell team, and then we're going to have no chance. How many gold? And then we didn't even need the stake against this. We may lose, but like, the stake didn't do anything. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> Why? It's not fair. It's actually not fair. Why was his summon team so much better than mine? <laughs> Fine, that's eight. Believe a game at least. Alright. Let me run back the predictions. How many golden Overwatch guns do I have? I don't know because I haven't played that much competitive. I feel like I have like five, maybe? <laughs> Honestly, that team won. That's what I mean when I say sometimes you just don't have a chance. Like, I can't see any way I could have beaten that. Like, even if I had a similar team, I would have had to go get so lucky just to have that kind of luck. <laughs> Summoning double level 3 giant reindeers is, is is too much. You can't beat that with spam summons. It needs to be something else. Uh, fatherly believers. There we go. It's you guys. Should you throw your balls into the void? I think you should, yeah. Uh, I guess we're buffing a mosquito. I'm hoping we're buffing a mosquito. We're buffing a mosquito. Excellent. That to the back. I may take a mouse just because I can sell it again. Yeah, let's do that. Anola, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. All right, stack roll again. We're probably keeping the mosquito. I'm fine just like buying and selling mice just to get like a cheap one one on this. It's not incredible, but it is pretty good. If we're keeping it anyway. And <laughs> see you later, Bimbas. Okay, what do you have? Sheep. <laughs> I have to take it. I don't love it, though. Alright, let's just do that a couple times, then. Buy all of this. I would rather it hit either of those than the marmoset. And it hit the marmoset anyway, whatever. We'll do this, then. And I keep forgetting, this can't summon turtles anymore. Which means it's probably not as necessary to put it in front of things. And <laughs> Stennis, hello! Yeah, okay. Mama set, you're done. I'll be taking this, I think. Because I still love swans. They're too good. Right, now, if I roll, I'm looking for mostly just another otter. I will take spiders or mosquitoes, though. <laughs> I don't have room. Yeah, I could, like, pill this and then give something a meat bone. That feels okay as well. Hey. Excellent. That was an excellent get, by the way. <laughs> it didn't even, like, lose any stats, because uh, aren't your like, one threes now? It's like getting a 2-2. Two -two. It, it maintains the stats. Otter just doesn't like you. Nothing likes me. It's so sad. I would like... I will take this, but I would like to get garlic for that, please. No. Oh. Do I... Do I freeze everything? 
I think I like freeze everything. I'm gonna leave the capybara. It is something we need. It's not something that I need right now, though. That's not true. We like you, Kino. Aw, chat. Thank you, guys. <laughs> That's not good. My HP. We actually got the mosquito level up too. All right. I think. I think I abandoned the otter. I don't think that's going to happen <laughs> as much as I want it to. I think I probably stack this. Uh, I don't know what to do. I really want to get garlic, but I can't do it this turn if I buy all the mosquitoes. <laughs> so maybe I just like put another one of these on something. I can put it on this and also like run it to the front. And then we have something, and I'm keeping the blobfish, because pilling that onto anything gives me a level up. Is there bison in this pack? I think there is, but I haven't... I don't know if I've taken it yet. I don't rely on bison in this pack, and that's sad. Yeah, this bison. I was clicking and nothing was happening. Huh. I'm pretty sure I want a clownfish, because that's an extra 2-2 two -two on my mosquito. I think we sell sheep. I do this to see what my tier 5 is. That's really nice as well. <laughs> I will be taking that. I may just sell the clownfish again. Because I could still sell the swan and the giraffe. And we can just like go for other things. I need to find the anteaters. That's pretty good as well. Still something that I need. And you know what? Let's do it. It's one turn. I think we can get value out of that. I think we run this at the front, then the swan, then this. Probably not touching the guinea pigs. Buy bison? I don't want bison. There are better scalers. <laughs> By the way, desert background, I know. There's no guarantees it'll be coming back, but it's here for right now. Hey, take another one of those. I won't touch the pineapple. Pineapple and the woodpecker is pretty good, but... I, I, I don't know. Maybe we do go for a hawk build instead. Skunk with the hawks could be okay, but then this would have to be bigger. And right now it would have less attack. Not a lot less attack, but less attack. And there's no guarantee they'd even target the same things, so... Oh, hold on. We got new redeems. Cowboy hat and cave. Alright. Thank you, guys. <laughs> May, were you hoping for a more desert? How many vids are there per stream? Uh, there hasn't been any YouTube games for like over a week. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've been posting VODs, but I don't know about main channel stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave the skunk. I think I just keep rolling. See if I see anything that catches my eye. This definitely does. So does a stalk, though. I can't run both. It, it depends whether I think I'm going to lose. Like, the best thing to do this turn is buy the stalk and then, you know, leave the crow and level that up next turn. I think I do that just because we're not going to be using the turkey long term. That's just a level up. We can get a tier 6 off that. So I'm interested. Getting more XP is good, even if it's really expensive. There was a combo and then there was a cave. I'm very sorry if the cave upsets you. Hey. Hey! <laughs> we did it. Not dead. A lot of XP, and I don't know where to put it all. Alright. Uh, first, show me what this is. Octopus. Pretty good. I may take that. And worse, I will definitely be taking that. But I can't do both on the same turn. I don't know. I could, like, buy, buy and sell a crow, sell the stalk, and then... By the walrus. It's all so weird. I think I do that. I'm going to leave the octopus, I think, because otherwise I'm freezing way too many things. And lemon on this would be pretty good, but I need to find a pill for this first. Otherwise, if I buy the lemon pill this and it replaces it, then... Yeah, we're just really screwed. And level 2 octo. I think I need to go hard on the hawk, honestly. Level 2 octo would be good. Still safe. And it would be, like, amazing with a, um... Can't even remember what it's called. Stegosaurus. There's a lot of Stegosaurus synergy in this, because it's, like... There's a leopard, gorilla, octopus. Uh... Eh, that's mostly it. <laughs> but they are very good. Alright, so I can sell the stalk, maybe. Like, buy the cow, buff this up. I don't even know. 
I'm gonna try and keep it. Although, maybe... Wait, I'm leveling this. But then I don't know if I have time to level this! No. Alright. We do it this way, then. Do not hit... No, I'm, I'm saving it for next turn. I will do this, but... If it hits the crow. If, if it hits the crow, I'm gonna be so upset. Alright, looks like we're fine here. I think we could have got a win, maybe? Might be off though. Alright, please, no crow. Anything but the crow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, do this. I may take a crocodile, because there's no guarantee I'm going to see anything else. So yeah, I'll take one of those and I can roll the rest. Buy, sell this, maybe end on... It's either an eagle or a snake. We don't have very tanky things. I think I'd take an eagle. I think i throw that further forward. Probably not right at the front. Oh no, it's turn 11. This might not, like, insta-trade into things. But there's a good chance they're going to have a shield, so I don't know. Maybe I do that and just hope it works. Front hawk. Uh, awkward trades. Ah, we're okay, though. In fact, we win! Okay, <laughs> there is another walrus. Uh, white tiger with something. I don't think it's good unless we can find stegosauruses. I think another walrus is definitely worth removing the crocodile. It does depend, because a crocodile can be amazing. Please, I, I need a pill very badly. Very, very badly. I will be doing this. Alright, I'm really hoping this 21 snipe doesn't just hit Melon Armor. Because <laughs> that will feel very bad. I don't even know what I do with these things. Like, do I just try and, like, level the walrus and just keep it on the team? Hmm. I don't know, it's too expensive. I'm gonna leave it. Alright. I think I leave it like this, honestly. And just have to hope. How do the balls work? They're just, uh... It's just a currency. You watch the stream, you might get some. Oh, it's so close. I don't know how to describe how you use them, though. But you can redeem them for not much, but some things. So I could level it up before pilling it, but there's still a good chance it's going to hit that. So I'm going to do this first and pray that it doesn't hit this again. Excellent. And then... I think leveling the eagle might be an idea. I think that does help us out quite a lot, and then I can still buy something at the end. And it is an octopus. Better than the rest of this, I think. For 1, 2, 5. Boodle does scale everything, though. But, nah. <laughs> Just nah. Try to like this, then. You can use them? Yeah. Hey. Uh, wait. Wait, we're okay. We're okay. We're so close. And there is a Stegosaurus. I think we're taking that. <laughs> I think I have to take a Stegosaurus over the octopus. And I guess I'm putting it on this. I'm probably going to do this too. Don't think I replace anything else though. Let's just take that. Uh, try to get some better equipment. Like, I'll take one steak. One steak or one melon or any of this could be really good. I don't think buying the stat food is enough of a change. That is great. Alright, cool. Now, I am trying to think whether I put this on, like, something smaller. Because, like, if I get these up to higher stats, then they both might survive hits, and they might be able to, um... Well, they'll be able to pop through melon armor. Although, we got a mosquito and a hawk, so the odds of them having melon armor isn't very high. It'll probably break at the start. I don't know. I'm going to send it like this. I think that's probably worth more. Like, it's already... It's only level 1. It's not that big. And has anyone redeemed it before? They have. It has been redeemed, like... I want to say three times. And that is very sad. <laughs> Alright. Nine trophies. We tried. Prediction. Yes. Hold on, I'm taking a sip.
Dog is nerfed so hard. Dog's a weird one. I still haven't tried it, but it, it's just different. You don't use it the same way you used to use it. I don't know if it's actually any good or not. I just know it's not, like, at the very least not broken in the same way that it was. Honestly, let's just do this. I like mosquitoes. Hit. I can't trust that it's going to hit the mosquito, actually. <laughs> if it hits the mouse, that's just a terrible team. We're the untouched buttocks. Hmm. Oh, we're just fine. I think the shuffle actually won it for us. Like, they ended up with a backline ant. That's always pretty nice. Uh, yeah, let's take one of these. Fine to me. With summons builds, dog's pretty decent. Yeah, like, I, I've said before, I'm pretty sure dog is like a an early shark now. But it's probably not something you keep into the late game. You probably do replace it with a shark when that appears. Assuming it's even in the pack and all that. Let's just buff this a load. Probably rolling instead of buying both of these. I will freeze those just in case. I may even like buy the meat bone. That might just be better for this turn instead of like buying something else. Yeah, let's do that and then like keep rolling. No, don't care too much about that. I think taking a swan is fine. I still don't care about this. Hmm. Oh, excellent. That was huge. The fact that it survived that shot won us the fight. <laughs> if it was slightly smaller, we would not have had that. Alright, please keep going. Uh, I'd probably just stack it instead of getting greedy. Although, if I lose 2 HP, then that doesn't really change anything. Because after this turn, we're still going to be 3 hits away from lethal, whichever way that happens. Well, 2 hits away from lethal. So maybe I can do that and feel fine. We get some extra gold. And honestly, I'm probably going for this. I'm probably not going for the guinea pig. I think we go for capybara or bear. If we can even find any of those. You get garlic on this as soon as I can, though. Get rid of the seahorse for the swan. Yes, I've done it. We made the same decision. Oh. <laughs> yep. Yeah. We lost, but again, I don't think it actually matters. Like, a, a loss is the same as a draw there. A win could have meant something, but... In general, I don't think that's really a problem. Okay, so... I may take another giraffe, because more scaling on something I'm probably going to keep is really nice. Don't mind pulling that if I find one. We actually do have a level up, which makes me wish I had bought that <laughs> clownfish. Whatever. What do you have? A crow. Let's take a crow. Okay. I can go to the back. I probably still want meat on this, but I'm going to leave it. Getting garlic on that means much more than meat on this. So I will wait a minute. Interesting traits, but we're just okay. Getting stats isn't too bad either, but... <laughs> I think I put this on a giraffe, and I set myself up to combine them next turn, unless I do something weird with the bear. I could do that, but I'm, I'd still rather go for a hawk or an anteater. Like, the giraffes I'm probably keeping for a while, but they're still... We don't need a full team at the moment. Ah, whatever. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll do this. This is nice as well. Let's just stack it, see if we can find another one, maybe. We did not, but that is fine. Still scaling pretty fast. I think we're okay here. We are not. It is close, but we're not. Okay, there's another level up. I can't get the clownfish level up before the other one unless I sell something, and that doesn't feel good. So, yeah, we'll just do it this way. Poodle is really nice. One, three, two, three. I probably sell this, honestly. I could maybe go for the level three mosquito. But I think buffing all of these is great. Uh, yeah. I think that may be the win, and I don't know what I do after that. I think I buy this now, because I don't want to lose it. And then I do make the most of the clownfish stats while I'm here. But then I can't buy the poodle. Let's do... 
this this turn and i'm just going to hope that it doesn't hit the clownfish but if it does it's just a loss of a 1-1 stat it's not too bad <laughs> and of course that shows up immediately after maybe we'll lose again who knows and it didn't hit the clownfish excellent what did everyone eat for breakfast doesn't matter just wondering i didn't have breakfast i don't eat breakfast very often and I say it's healthy because, you know, something, something <laughs> intermittent fasting. Do I do this or do I pump up the scaling? I think I'd rather try and pump up the scaling instead of getting the 2-2 from the clownfish. But it does mean I still need to find one of the two tier 4s that I need. Oh, there's one. Okay. <laughs> and I can level this up as well, but I can't... Actually, no. We leveled this. And I do it this turn, I think, and then we can like wait on <laughs> getting the the anti to Oh well, that's that's too good to leave. Let's look at a hawk. I think a hawk is slightly better. It might depend on the team, but if I had to choose, I'm gonna go for the hawk. Anti to synergize with too many combos, so like I think we can get that on a like a different run. This is just kind of something you can fit into anything, so I'm fine doing it here and now, I think. Did you know that the most important meal of the day thing is just a marketing campaign? It doesn't surprise me, but I never really paid attention to it anyway, because... I don't know. It's, it's not like there was, like... I, I never... It never sounded like there was any science to it to me. It just sounded like a... Hey, kids, make sure you remember to eat your breakfast kind of thing. Like, I don't know if it was malicious, but... You know. I don't really know what I thought of it. I'm not buying these foods. I would probably buy the sushi, but... I'm not freezing it. That is big. Uh, continue scaling my my scared little team. You can hit the second thing. Maybe I should throw it to the front. Who even knows anymore? Uh, no. <laughs> that was an interesting hippo, though. You only eat breakfast on school days because I won't have time to eat otherwise. See, that's definitely fair. Or, I mean, it's, it's fair to eat breakfast like, on any day, but... Yeah, if you're not going to be able to eat lunch or something, then definitely eat breakfast. <sighs> this is good if we get the level up, but I will be focusing all chocolate onto this, so I don't know whether I take that. I think I do not. I think I need to find good equipment and level ups for this. That is better. I'll take one of those, but I'm going to put it on here. I don't trust... I think replacing that one isn't worth it. I'm going to leave lemon because I think it's going to be better to take melon very soon. And I'm still leaving the poodle. <laughs> poodle could be great, but I, I just don't know. Okay, still looking great. It looks like we are very, very big compared to some of these teams. I'm hoping it will continue. And if I had known we'd see so many of these, I would have been taking them. Whatever, fine. I'll take one. You know what? Let's push it. Love both of those. I kind of like a Stegosaurus as well, and I could maybe replace the Giraffe. Because right now, this is going to be a 14-16 with meat. But this is also going to be like a 14-17? Something? And it scales. Not quite as fast as the Giraffe does, but it does scale, and it's something we can like look to level up. I think I'd take that. Yeah, so we can like swap out the draft next turn. Probably gonna put it behind the swan too. Like we don't really have any good combat abilities to benefit from something having like higher health, but something with a lemon probably needs bigger stats. Alright, let's go then. That will do this. I'm gonna do this. I will replace the mosquito one eventually, but. Not yet. And I probably have to avoid stat food until I get either the Poodle or the Hawk leveled up. And you not know freeze both of those. <laughs> Alright. Feeling slightly better about the team, but honestly, there's still stuff that could just crush this. Okay. Is a sandwich a taco? Or is a taco a sandwich? I would have no clue. Those conversations always scare me. Now, 
every part of me wants to do this right now, but I think we have to do this, otherwise we're probably not going to get the level up. Like, we need to do that to try and stay alive. I think I need to do this just to try and get the achievements, and we have it. I'm doing it this turn. Probably look to get the re poodle replaced next turn, too. I'm not sure what with, but I think we do. And if we can level the Stego, that'd be huge as well. <laughs> or do we just buy all of this? It's another, I mean, it's only another 4-4 four, four if I do that. Or like buying this is like a 5-5 five, because five, it's also a 1-1 one, one to itself. Hmm. I think I take it. I think this is my next turn. Like, I could take the cheese or something instead, but I'm not unhappy with this. Level the Poodle and the Stego. I feel weird about leveling the Poodle, because there's probably only one turn after this if we live. Which we do, thankfully. <laughs> but yeah, we really we really do only get... um. There's more. I can't even use the Melon. Unless I avoid that. Melon is probably more useful than the 5-5 five, five buff from the Poodle. I think this is huge. That's definitely worth it. Oh, never mind, I can do it all! It's the Swan money! That's right! <laughs> Alright. Uh, it doesn't really matter where I put this either. I'm gonna put it on my small one. There we go. Extra protection in case someone's running, like, weird crocodile stuff. I also didn't check, like, maybe I should have put the Stego somewhere else. I wasn't checking how big things were. I'm glad that went to the back. <laughs> that could have been very, very bad. But hey, we did it. We got the Hawk. Making progress today. Alright, excellent. Oh, and thank you for the hydration. Is a hot dog a taco? I'm, I'm just gonna say no. I think tacos are tacos. Maybe other things are sandwiches, but... No, a hot, hot dog. Hot dog can't be a taco. Uh, prediction. Also, 69% believers. Very nice. 